Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. So, as typical or as usual, I seem to bemoan uh, the community's obsession with opening theory. But uh, perhaps I need to embrace it and learn from it uh, instead of myself. Good luck. Instead of myself panicking about all these things. Um, oh, okay. Hey, it's the opening I'm afraid of. That's cool. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> I don't remember this one. That's cool. Um, yeah. I don't even know what metaphor to use for this. But here I am gambiting upon. And my contention with this particular thing is that it them grabbing the pawn is not a wonderful use of time. But can I prove it? I don't think so. I'm definitely not ready. Oh, I can grab a pawn too. Well, that's special. Um, we're going to end up in theoretical no man's land in just a second here. Wasn't originally my destination, but we'll take it. Excuse me? What's this? Oh. This is the opponent attempting to trap my piece. And perhaps even succeeding in doing so, but, um, not sure that it's worth it. They are threatening to drop a pawn and protect the square in some sequence. Um, but I seem to be one tempo faster here. I'm interested in using this diagonal. It's not all I'm interested in, but it is one of my interests. Um, yeah, I am super confused by everything that's going on here. I mean, the surest sign of that is that I've seemed to have transposed into a static rook opening. Which, if that doesn't say I'm confused, I don't know what will. Let me just verify that I'm on the right scene, and I am. Yeah, I was going to suggest perhaps I just need to play Urashino or something. Um, this game, we went into a bishop exchange line, and now their bishop's on a curious square. Um, I could hit this first. They move up, then we exchange silvers, and I win a bishop. Bishop moves elsewhere, I can take the center pawn. So I win a bishop. Although I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, there's a tactic in the end of this. Jeepers. Yeah, I am extremely out of my element, like I'm saying. They drop a piece right here. Yep. Um. Mm hmm. Okay, so they got two pieces for one. 
Um, let's try to give my king an escape. I... <laughs> yeah, I was modestly afraid or concerned about this, but... Not enough to prevent me from going into the slide. Okay, what the hell? That piece? What's the idea? Oh, this is ugly. Um... I have some concept of what they're trying to do, but I don't fully understand it. They're wanting to, like, win my bishop and continue their attack and win the knight. But that doing all three of those things takes some time. Not a lot of time, but it takes some time. Okay, we're going to open my rook. I have no idea what's going on. Um... Continue trying to use the rook. At this point, I've given up on opening theory. We don't need openings where we're going. Yeah, their rook is blocked by a pawn. So the rook is worth no more than a lance while it is obstructed. My rook is not blocked, so potentially it could be worth more than a pawn. Um... Potentially, though, I'm in a lot of trouble. So... Hi, ay ay I'm so, so confused. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, a rook exchange on this file would be dangerous. Um, We're just going to go the most dangerous way. Um, no subtlety here. They can attack the head of my bishop directly. I can move it forward, they can attack it again. That's not how we're going here. Um, hmm. Gofun.
Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but it's exciting. Um. Oh, I could block the bishop diagonal with my knight. I don't think it's time to do that, but time for that might soon come. That's super weird. Why would you play that? All right. So it is. Let's do this. So rook takes, silver takes. If the rook dodges, I don't know. I play something. Um. I'm so confused. Do I take the pawn? Do I advance? Taking the pawn somewhat cowardly. Um, advancing doesn't do anything. Oh wait, I have no pawn on that file. I could put more pressure if I do this. Alright. In for a penny. In for something that's far more than a penny. Um. All right. It looks cool. Wow. Alright, so be it. I kind of expected the king to move to give the rook somewhere to run to. Because I didn't see this. Um, I've blocked my pieces. Something. The thing I tell everybody else not to do. I've done it. Alright. Um... Desperation. Nifun Sanjubio. Strange. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, well, okay. I guess it makes some sense. That's clever. Nifun. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. I lose. My attack is dead. Uh, 
1分30秒 That doesn't matter. Time situation literally does not matter here. I cannot find a move. Ipun. Nicely played. Well, at least we're having fun. Or at least one of us is having fun. That's the key, right? Um... I don't know why they did that. They could have just held that threat forever. Although I was threatening to just give up the rook and drop the bishop back, so maybe it was reasonable, but they didn't need to do that. This threat sucks, but we're doing it anyway. They're just going to double around my king, and I'll have to run away or something. And then they'll put more pieces between there. Um, but it's fine. Hmm. Oh, I can't put a pawn on that file. Alright, noted. Oh, that's not check, is it? Oops. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Good luck. Alright. So, I've always been modestly curious about this. What's up with this opening? Yeah. I don't know. I think when I dropped my pawn in front of my pieces, that's when that ended. Um, but there was some potential for things to be interesting until I played that atrocious move. And then it was over. Um... It's just kind of wild. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm losing a bishop, guys. Isn't this cool? I'm so good at this game. Um, what the fuck am I doing? I'm still losing the bishop. 
This was my brilliant idea. But they can... Well, I guess I actually have the file. Because if they drop a piece, like a lance, I can drop a piece. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get demoted down to 2Q if I keep playing this way. So that's pretty cool. Um, I keep suggesting to our humble little community, don't spend all day on openings. Like, work on checkmates and like two-move combinations, because those happen pretty frequently. Um, but... Yeah, here I am getting completely blown out of the game in the opening every single time. And seem simultaneously recommending, hey guys, just don't worry about openings. It's nothing to worry about. Like, I'm such a hypocrite. What can we do about this? I don't know. But then, here, I've survived the opening and suddenly have a thriving attack out of the middle of nowhere. So... I'm not completely crazy. Um, I think the fixation with openings, both in chess and shogi, is misguided. Um, all right, a knight is tricky to use here. A lance is also tricky to use here. If I give a knight or if I give a lance to the opponent, which I'm more afraid of, I'm more afraid of the lance. Um, so we're going to give the knight instead. Yeah. I'm so... I don't know what happened last opening. Somehow I'm on tilt about it. I don't know why. Uh, these games that I play on Shogi Wars used to be such a fun occasion. But now, like, the... So many in our community of English speakers insist that they're not experts at this game. And they suggest, hey, look at other folks to see here's how you actually play the game. And that kind of puts a little bit of pressure on me to perform. <laughs> um, so I'm doing my best, but like, I've never been good at this game. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, so here, their bishop is attacking this way. They've run out of attackers, is my point here. Um, they want to exchange the bishop for the gold and then promote the knight or something. But now the bishop's biting on granite. I didn't come up with those words. Those are words that the chess community has used forever. But the analogy still applies that a piece that's a blocked like here my rook is blocked by the damn pawn a piece severely devalues as it's blocked um thank you yeah wasn't fully sure what to do about this but um uh, oh hey there's an idea okay Uh, we're going to keep these pieces connected. Okay. Uh, I can take a knight. Thanks for the game. So like I was saying, like... It sucks when I get blown out of the opening, because then I don't get to play a game. Um... Yeah. I think they were a bit tilted. Good luck. Oh my goodness. Good luck. 
Um, now we're going to play third foul rook against this. I don't care. I'm a bit tilted already. Silver, bishop, silver. Yeah, okay. I can hold this pawn. This is not how you're supposed to play against Oshino, but I don't know the opening. So what do I know? Oh crap, I'm giving away the pawn unintentionally. This was... Hmm. Yeah, and then if I try to save it, I lose the pawn anyway, or I lose my rook. Alright, so I'm down a pawn, and under attack, and have no attack myself. At least I built a castle. I've done one thing correct. Um, so we'll celebrate that. But, again, like... These used to be fun occasions. <laughs> and... Okay. Uh, I opened a hole here. I should not have done that. This is so bad. Should I resign? Like... I don't know. Okay, I've cut off the square from the silver. I'll just push this pawn and then move it, but at least that'll take a move. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been in this position where I've always been concerned about losing pieces. Um... And then I try to tell other players, don't panic about it. Um, but we're all human. Okay, this is going to get stupid. So, the whole point with Urshino is they want to bring an attack over here. They've been so slow about doing so that I've been able to like push them all the way back here. Which is just stupid and should not happen. Um, I should never move this knight, but I'm moving it. Because it actually does make some threats and cuts off the silver from advancing. But I'm long term, I'm in such deep doo-doo here. Um, short term, things kind of sort of look okay. I'm going to try to unblock my rook. Um, I have no pawn in hand, so I can't do anything other than maybe open the edge, but it's no good. My castle is half Mino. It's not going to survive against any attack. My rook is blocked. My bishop's blocked. They haven't completed their castle, but they really don't need one. So, um, yeah, it's a weird game. Mm -hmm. Well, interesting. Sure, now I have a pawn in hand. Um, hmm. Is there a right way to play this? Okay, unblock my bishop. That's a goal. Let's unblock my bishop. So I give the silver, they... Okay. Wait, did they drop that or move that? No, they dropped that. Um, so I'm dancing back and forth like an idiot here. Um, they still have a pawn in hand. 
This is, yeah, I needed to retreat my silver. I've lost. That's great. Nanafun. What a wonderful game. Um, all right. Clever silver sacrifice. Clever silver sacrifice that doesn't do anything. Um, here, you want it? It's yours. Then you use it to fork my other pieces, and I give away more material. Maybe I just sack my rook here. Fork's coming anyway. There. Their rook is blocked. Their bishop is hitting pawns, because they no longer have a rook to aim at. Um, yep. And my attack dies. Wonderful. Um, I guess we'll take this. So I'm down two pieces. Okay, we're going to do something else stupid here. Why stop with doing one stupid thing? Okay, now I've put my silver in the corner where I can't use it anymore. That'll be fun. Um, but I've got a lance. Okay. Also, I forgot I have this, so I should probably do that. Do pieces have values? Because I don't seem to know whether they do. I'm sure there's some piece value table out there somewhere. Somebody could tell you that, like, a rook is worth more than a pawn. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm mated. But other than that, we're doing great. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay, they have a bishop in hand. <laughs> is the goal here to demonstrate every way that I'm losing this? Because that's a pretty cool demonstration. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Um, yeah, how do I beat that? This is why you don't move the knight, people. Yet everybody freaking moves the knight without a second thought. Um, Alright, if we don't live here, it's fine. Oh, nice! Alright, show us. Okay, that's fine. Would you care to show us now? Thanks for the game. Nicely played. Yeah, I'm down three minutes and in a lost position. So um, that's our three games for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.